Late on December 8, Azerbaijani armed units opened fire from different caliber firearms at Armenian positions in the eastern part of the Armenian-Azerbaijani border, the Ministry of Defense said in a statement, adding that the enemy's fire was silenced by retaliatory actions and that no casualties were reported. Azerbaijani troops again opened fire at 4.25 p.m. on December 9, this time at the military positions located in the Gerar Kunik region. Later, the ministry reported that the shooting stopped as of 6 p.m. and that two Armenian troops were lightly wounded. All the Azerbaijani servicemen who were taken prisoner in Nagorno-Karabakh were returned with the support of Russian peacekeepers. The work on the return of the captured Armenian soldiers continues, Deputy Commander of Russia's Southern Military District Rustam Muradov has said. For the implementation of the Sochi agreements, the Russian side expects Armenia and Azerbaijan set up delegations as soon as possible for further formation of a commission on border demarcation and delimitation, Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova told the briefing on Thursday. The first meeting of the 3 plus 3 platform dedicated to strengthening peace and stability in the South Caucasus will take place in Moscow on December 10 at the level of Deputy Foreign Ministers, Anadolu Agency reported, citing a statement issued by the Turkish Foreign Ministry. Deputy FMs of Armenia, Russia, Iran, Turkey and Azerbaijan will take part in the meeting. Georgia is not planning to participate in the 3 plus 3 platform in the South Caucasus. A representative of Tbilisi will not be at the first meeting to be held in Moscow, a statement published by the Georgian Foreign Ministry says. U.S. President Joe Biden has opened the Democracy Summit virtual conference organized by the United States with the participation of about 110 countries. I had planned this meeting a long time ago for one simple reason. In the face of the ongoing challenges of democracy and universal human rights around the world, democracy needs those who will stand up for it. I wanted to host this summit because here in the United States, we, like everyone else, are well aware that our democracy and the strengthening of democratic institutions requires constant effort, Biden said. On December 9, 1948, the UN General Assembly adopted the first human rights treaty, the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide. The Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide clearly stipulates that genocides have caused enormous harm to humanity at all stages of history, thus referring that the crimes of genocide appeared before the adoption of the Convention. The Armenian Genocide served as an important press for the adoption of the Genocide Convention, which was publicly mentioned by the author of the Convention, Rafael Lemkin. An Armenian Minister of Foreign Affairs statement says, with regard to the Genocide Day marked internationally on December 9. Russia is planning to deliver another batch of S-400 missile systems to Turkey, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said in an interview with Greek television channel ANT1, asked whether Russia plans to provide another batch of S-400 systems to Turkey, Peskov said, we have certain understanding with our Turkish partners and we hope so. 300 new COVID-19 cases were registered in Armenia yesterday, 19 people died.